guys you welcome hope you guys are feeling good Them, my dear brothers and sisters i was asked the question whether allah is the same god as the god of the old testament and i would like to elaborate on that the answer to that question is yes mm. the muslim concept of allah is exactly the same as the jewish concept of hashem oh. Uh, therefore, no matter what you hear, you know, some people like to claim that God, Allah is the moon god or whatever, whatever you hear, this is all nonsense. And, um, you know, whether the word Allah was used for something else before Islam, I'm not sure, maybe. I'm not sure exactly, I'm not a linguist. But that's really not the important part. The important part is what is Allah today? What does it, the word, the name of, or the word Allah mean today to Muslims? What it means today to Muslims is exactly the same what Hashem means to the Jews. That's really, there's no argument there. Our only argument between Jews and Muslims are whether Muhammad was a prophet or not. That's really the only argument. But the concept of God is, you know, really exactly the same. And therefore, you know, no matter what you hear, even if some Jews tell you that, oh, we don't believe in the same God as the Muslims do, they're only saying this because of political reasons. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows this, you know, since Jews and Muslims are at war in Israel, so some Jews may be uh, prone to say, oh, therefore anything Muslims do, it's mm. wrong. You know, they will believe in a different God, they do this, this, uh, but this is all nonsense, wow. you know. Uh, and in fact, Rabbi Moshe ben mm. Maimon, who was probably the biggest scholars that uh, scholar that ever lived, he lived about 1,000 years ago, he said, he was really critical of those who are, you know, lies. spreading lies just because of a political um, oh. reason. And he was really critical. And he says, those who say that Muslim concept of God different. is different and it's like idol. He says, these are bad, this is, uh, you know, bad people. I don't know exactly which word he used, but he was really critical of those people. And he says that, in fact, he says, the Muslim concept of God is exactly the same. And not only that, he says, if a Jew needs to pray, he is allowed to go to a mosque and pray together with the Muslims. Because the Muslim concept of God is exactly the same as the Jewish concept mm. of God. There's no argument there. So I hope this answers your question. And no matter what... By the way, one, one more thing I wanted to mention. Just like in English, we have, we have the word mm. God. Right? Back... Maybe 1,000 years ago, I'm not sure what the word God meant. It could have probably be the name of some idol that was named God. And then eventually this term came into English it's, it's language and it began God. to be used to a different, uh, uh, in a different connotation to the one God. So therefore, you know, just like, just like somebody who uses the word God today does not necessarily mean that he worships that idol that existed 1,000 years ago, right? Because this is just a word. The way it was used at that time is one thing, now it's used differently. Therefore, same thing with the, the word Allah. We go by what the word Allah means to Muslims today. It doesn't matter what it meant before Islam. It's not really relevant. So, to answer the question, I want to repeat it and to make sure everybody really understands that, yes, the Allah is really the same God of the wow. Torah. Allah so is the same agree? God of the Torah. And uh, as I said, the only argument uh, Muslims and Jews have is whether Muhammad was oh, a prophet yes. or not. That's really the only argument. As far as God goes, or Allah goes, we believe in the same God. In fact, as a Jew, I can say and I feel, f and I can freely say this and without even any hesitations I can use the Arabic phrase Allahu Akbar and have no problem saying this Allahu Akbar I can say this all I want and even the part of the, sh the Shahada that the Muslims say Lo ila illa Allah I can also freely say this and I don't feel any you know remorse about saying this because their concept of God is exactly the same as the Jewish concept of God Thank you for watching. Wonderful. Wonderful. So you just admit the fact that they have the same concept of God. So Jewish believe in the same God, Islam believe in. But why is that they are not in agreement in so many things? 
Why is that the Jewish and the Muslim do not agree on so many things? We all know what's going on right now between the two religions. We knew what happened a few months back, how intense their fight was. So if they actually believe in the same God, then why don't they agree together? Why is it that, you know, condemnation, you know, the fights, war, all of this keep on, you know, happening? Why? What, what really went wrong? What really went wrong? So I love the fact that this man came to declare it out and let people understand that, see, oh, we Jewish too, we believe in the same God islam believes in but the only part that they have issue with is prophet muhammad if muhammad is a prophet that's the only part they always you know counter them against that are you sure muhammad is a prophet he was a prophet you know but when it comes to allah they believe that they are worshiping the same god even they to they can swear take their shahada pray that's like you see that mostly i don't know if it's still happening now because of the relationship they took religion as now i don't know if it's still going on you know back in those days i don't know if it's still happening now a jewish can go to the mosque to pray and they are allowed to pray in the mosque they pray like muslim they can go to the mosque and pray exactly like the way muslims pray they have their own way of prayer yes quite well and their own book is torah why islam is quran but you are allowed to go to you are freely allowed to do so but i don't know if you no, know, the reverse is the case right now. I don't know if it's still going on, but that was a beautiful one. I love, I love it. I love the story. But if, if this man is trying to claim that the same God Jewish are serving, the same God Islam are serving, then that makes them also a Muslim, right? That means they are partially connected to the religion. But it seems their book is totally different from Quran, Torah, because it says something like Ashkim or something like that. I don't know if it's the name of God. He may mention a word. Ash, Ashem. Ashem. H-A-S-H-E-M. Is it another term for God in their religion? Or is it prophet? I want to understand what the, the Ashem is when it comes to Jewish, you know, their religion. That was a beautiful one. Let me know your point of view in the comment box. Let's keep this discussion going. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.